In this video we will once again prove a proposition formulated using universal quantification and implication and look at the corresponding proof term. In this case the proposition is for all x and y in prop if for all z in prop x implies y implies z implies z then x. In previous examples, universal quantifiers were only used as prefixes to introduce the variables used in the propositions. That's not true here. That's the way universal quantifiers are used for this x and y, but not for the z. This for all z is used in a different way, and it will have certain effects when we start proving the theorem, as we'll see in a moment. So let's try and prove the theorem. We start by assuming a proposition x and a proposition y, and an assumption a, which is a proof of for all z and prop, x implies y implies z implies z. And the claim we need to prove is x. In previous examples, when we needed to prove a claim, we looked at our assumptions, like this assumption a, and one of them would end with something like implies x if the claim were x. And then we would apply that assumption and it would reduce the goal to some sub-goals which would have new claims and then we could introduce new assumptions and continue. In this case, however, we have only one assumption a. And this assumption a does not end with implies x. It ends with implies z and that z is bound by this universal quantifier. So it's not clear that we can apply this a. In fact, we can. The idea is to look at the type of a applied to x. The type of a applied to x is x implies y implies x implies x. One obtains this type by substituting in the x for the z. Now it's clear that we can apply this a, or the ax, to reduce the claim to proving x implies y implies x. To prove this, we introduce two new assumptions, b, a proof of x, c, a proof of y, and we need to prove x, and now we're done because we have a proof of x, namely b is a proof of x. So let's take a moment to construct the proof term that corresponds to this proof and gives a proof of the proposition above. So we can tell from the way we started the proof that the proof term will start with three lambdas, lambda x, y, a. And then the first thing we did was we applied the a, and we know that we applied the a first to the proposition x. And recall that in context this had the type x implies y implies x implies x. So in order to complete the proof term, we need to give another argument, which is of type x implies y implies x. And we did that by introducing the b and c, which corresponds to a lambda bc, and then using the b to prove x. So that's simply lambda b, c, b. So this is the proof term for this proposition. So the thing that was really new in this example was we needed to instantiate this universal quantifier during the proof. Now in this case it was very easy instantiation because we know we need to prove x and so if this z were x, we could make progress. Often these instantiations are the most interesting parts of a proof.